Well, good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. Well, there's been plenty of discussion around data centers lately, especially with the possibility of one coming to Sioux Falls. However, some of us may not know what they do or what kind of data they process. Kelloland's Jordan DeSmit traveled to Dakota State University today to find out the answers to those questions. Data centers contain servers that can do anything from basic computer tasks to what Dakota State University Chief Technology Officer Brent Van Artsen calls, quote, high-end AI workloads. He says there are three main types of data centers, private facilities that are company-specific, co-location data centers where people can rent out space, and hyperscalers, which are designed to meet the needs of thousands of people. Van Artsen says data centers can process a wide variety of information. So it could be anything from your uh, files that you have in the cloud, so your you know, family photos, your uh, videos that you take on your phone, uh, all the way to uh, specific uh, data analytics from like your workplace, so a specific work product that is in there, uh, all of the data analysis that goes behind like your healthcare data or banking data, like all of that is, is data. Ben Artson says that one of the reasons why you should keep yourself informed about data centers is because they help drive the internet. Anytime you've got an app open on your phone that's relying on uh, GPS for map data and those sorts of pieces, uh, the games you play on your phone, the cloud storage that uh, your family photos end up in, all of that is reliant on data centers in some shape or form in order for it to work. Ben Artson believes experts are still tapping into the capabilities. What can come from a data center is kind of endless, but it's really on the, the app developer side of it or those that are uh, making use of the data center. Jordan DeSmit, Kelloland News. Ben Artson also says local data centers help make apps work faster.